What's up guys, Higgins in Japan here with another edition of the Friday video. The Friday video is a video that I make right here in my car on the way home from work on a Friday. And uh, as you can see, um, from this video, the, the roads are, are much better than they were from uh, the video that I uploaded previously this week. Um, it's uh, about a thousand times better and uh, actually drivable now. And uh, I'm not fearing for my life as much as I was the other day. But uh, yeah, so we got a ton of snow. And um, the way that Japan deals with a ton of snow, in this area at least, is um, they just drive on it and it eventually goes away. Because we don't have snow plows in this area of Japan. So um, you just kind of tough it out until uh, until the roads are, are drivable and uh, that's just how things work here in Japan but yeah as you can see a million times better than what they were the other day um, the Sun has been out since we had snow um, but as you can see there's still piles of snow everywhere um, that's because it's been bitter cold uh, the past few days um, so much so that I woke up the other morning and my hot water was frozen. Uh, not not the cold water. That was fine. The hot water pipe was uh, frozen. So um, I almost, almost for a second thought that I was going to have to take either an extremely cold shower or bathe in the sink or something. I don't know what I was going to do. But uh, luckily, everything thawed out before I had to go to work. And uh, so that was good. So that's... Uh, that's all I wanted to say about the weather. See you guys. No. Um, so, before last Friday's video was was made, um, there were a bunch of people, um, and I'm sure that I'm going to forget people's names um, specifically, uh, but there were a bunch of people that made this push to, to kind of get me towards having more views and having more subscribers. Um, and so, big shout out to, to, um, to Kevin and um, Zach and oh gosh there was somebody else that like told a bunch of people to, to come to my channel and I'm really sorry I forget who else that was I should have written it down but um, that's how that goes but thank you guys to everybody that that was trying to get me towards YouTube's like arbitrary goal of views and view counts and hours watched and all that kind of stuff. Honestly, I don't really care. I, I said, I made a mention about it on Twitter about how it's not a big deal to me. Like, I understand that some people it is a big deal, but like, I make these videos for you guys to enjoy Japan and to learn about Japan and to maybe experience life through my lens, uh, if you will. So, but I do really appreciate um, all the people that have subscribed and all the new subscribers. So welcome. Thank you very much. Um, I really do appreciate uh, you guys sticking around to watch these videos, especially these videos that are a little bit longer uh, because it's me driving home. But enough of that. In going with 2018's theme of making the Friday videos have a topic, um, something that I tweeted about constantly the past couple of weeks, especially this week, um, is something that happens in Japan. Let me turn down the heat so you all can hear me. Um, something that happens constantly to the point where this week I, I really just I wasn't upset I mean I might have been upset when I was on Twitter uh, but that's not real life anyways um, but I, I, I can't understand it's winter time and I walk into my school and all the windows are open in the hallway like there was a breeze in the hallway and I, I looking around I'm like are you like, what is going on why it's January we just had like a mountain of snow and we have all the windows open. Like what is going on with that? And so I did the typical passive aggressive thing and said nothing to anyone and just mumbled under my breath and closed all the windows. Because for me, um, now listen, there there might be a reason behind this. And, and I asked, I did ask one of the teachers on uh, Tuesday, no, Wednesday, it would have been Wednesday. I asked one of the teachers on Wednesday, I said, hey, what is up with these windows being open? Um, it's winter time. 
I don't, this doesn't make sense to me. And she said um, that because influenza was going around, having the windows open, like, keeps the air circulating. Now, I'm no science man, okay? I, I don't claim to be, you know, Bill Nye, the science man, but, like, I don't, think that that's a real thing. Like, I don't know how airborne viruses work, but I'm pretty sure it's not like that. I, I could be wrong. So, Thursday came around, and I'm walking back from class with one of the teachers, and she says, oh, it's really cold. I said, yeah, it's cold because all the windows are open in the school. What is going on? Um, I said it a little bit nicer than that. And uh, she said the same thing. She said, well, the nurse said that the that influenza is going around and that we got to keep the windows open. To which I replied, that's crazy. Because that is crazy to me. And again, I'm, I'm an English teacher. I'm not a science man. Now, I don't deny, I'm not a science denier either, all right? So don't be, don't be hating on those... I'm not saying that I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doubting the, what are you doing? What are you doing? You just left me in the middle of the intersection. Thank you. Um, I'm not doubting that, that that's a possibility, right? Like when I was a kid, my mom would be like, man, your room stinks. Open up the window. And like, maybe that's the same thing. Like, Hey, you got a flu let the bitter cold air come in and keep you from getting sick. I don't know. Maybe that's a thing. Is that a thing? Let me know. Cause I honestly, I honestly don't know because to me, and this is just off the top of my head, craziness talking, but if it's cold, I'm not opening the windows. Like, and, and maybe I'm in the minority of that, of that group of people that says, no, no, you're wrong. You need to open the windows. And if so, that's fine. I will, I will gladly accept that that is the reason. I will gladly say, hey, I get it. Um, I was wrong, and, and you were right. Like, I'm, I'm willing to change here because, to me, it just sounds crazy. And to me, the concept of, like, hey, it's, it's cold. Like, it gets below, way below freezing at night. Or at least it has this past week. And apologies for the sun. Um, but at, at night it gets below freezing and I don't know if you know anything about schools in Japan, but they are not well insulated. You know, houses aren't even well insulated in Japan. Um, insulation is not a priority. And, um, so classrooms are cold, um, unless, you know, you're lucky enough, at least my school, um, they have heaters in every classroom. Occasionally you'll get those or more frequently, I should say, you'll get those, uh, like they call them stoves and it's just a big kerosene heater. Um, and every school that I've worked at previously has had those in them. So for winter time, they roll in the stove, crank up the heat and you know, it, it, it does a really, it does a decent job. Um, if you're standing right next to it. Uh, but the school that I'm at now, you know, we've got a heat and air conditioning. Um, it's just that they never use them properly and they never, like, that's the thing. I complain about it all the time on Twitter. And, you know, the same thing happened this summer. It's it's 100% humidity outside. It is disgusting. And you go into a classroom and they have the AC cranked and the windows open. And I'm like, have you guys ever used air conditioning before? Have, do you know that that is super inefficient? Um, or you know, sitting in the teacher's office and all the teachers all complaining, oh, it's so hot, oh, it's so cold. And they, they, they heat the room or they air condition the room so it's cool and a livable temperature. And then as soon as it gets to a good temperature, shut everything off and throw open the windows. And I'm like, again, it, it, it makes you almost like question your own sanity where you're like, maybe I've been doing it wrong my entire life, right? Like maybe the idea of closing a window and turning on the air conditioner, I don't know. 
I mean, like, I grew up in Texas, and I have a feeling that um, I would have been, I don't know, I don't know what would have happened if I would have just, like, said, hey, pops, I'm turning on the AC, and I'm also going to leave the windows open. Like, I have a feeling that, I mean, I know for a fact that I heard on multiple occasions my father say to me, we're not trying to air condition all of East Texas. You know, like if you come into the house and the AC's on, you better have yourself in the house and the door closed within a second. Because otherwise you're just wasting the air conditioning. Same with Japan. Right? And I don't understand. Maybe, like I said, maybe I'm in the wrong here. Maybe I am, you know, maybe I'm just don't know how things work. You know, in my old age, I had forgotten how things work. But, um... I don't know. It's it, it baffles me. Because, like, like I said, like, insulation is just not a thing here in Japan. So, in the summertime, um, you know, your apartment's going to be really hot and humid. In the wintertime, it's going to be really cold. And you have to find ways to, to, you know, save energy and be efficient. And instead of, you know, heating an entire house, which is very inefficient for the wintertime, you know, heating only the rooms that you're going to be in, you know, maybe your bedroom or your, you know, like I have a computer room, so maybe, you know, whichever room you're going to be in the most, or you switch off, you like, you heat the room that you're in, and then as soon as you move to the next, I don't know. All I know is that the way that I have seen it done at schools here in Japan for the past six years um, has literally driven me insane. That being said... If you have any questions or comments, head over to facebook.com slash Higgins in Japan where you can find more things about Japan, links um, to things else, other other things that I do in the in the you know description box below. You know how YouTube works. You know how you all that stuff works. And if you have questions and you don't want to go to Facebook, you can drop me questions in the comment section here below. And like I said, let me know. Is like am I crazy? Am I because I feel like Maybe I am at this point. Maybe I'm just, I'm at the point where nothing makes sense in life anymore. Have a good one, guys. Peace.